All right, guys, we got baby feet. We're going up there. And it's Noah. He's looking so cute in his little super soft sleeper that has dinosaurs ready for Christmas. Now I wanna show you guys this side of the house which has the nursery as well. A lot of people think I have a separate room, I don't. It's on the side of my wall in my living room. So here it is, we've got it all decorated. It's all decorated, oh my gosh. And I add to it all the time. So, <clears throat> excuse that little mess over there. But it's all decorated. Created my own little mobile for the babies. Really cute. So here we go, we got the kids dressed. The vintage babies are dressed, ready to go. And I just got him a Santa Claus hat today from the dollar store. We got the tree all taken care of. Little ornaments. Oh, this cat has fallen forward. But here we are. And the elf has his own garland of candy canes that uh, he made. So it's so cool. So there we are, just checking it out. It's all decorated. It's not all the ornaments because this tree's got some wonky branch set up and a lot of uh, weak branches. So it's not all the ornaments. So, but we did put as many as we could. And then there it is. Oh, so pretty. Then we have the lights and a little bit of Halloween garland needs to go. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. I just finished it up. Um, we have a sloth theme. I got the shower curtain last year on clearance thinking that, oh, the sloths will be around because they've been a hit for years now. Yeah, they're not so much a hit this year. All I could find was the wrapping paper and that sloth sign. That's it. Other than that, there was nothing sloth. But anywho, I've decorated it all with um, dollar store decorations. The wrapping paper is from Target though. These little balls, they're from the dollar store. Garlands from the dollar store. Um, all my little signs are from the dollar store. Wrap that to add more decoration. Those are just empty boxes. I made the tree, that's the dollar store. That cost me two packs of these, so it was three bucks. This little wood I got there, and then, yeah, three bucks to make that. And, yeah, decorated this wall over here. I really love the hanging bulbs. I like that a lot, the ornaments. But Santa stop here, and Santa's elves see everything, believe in the magic of Christmas. So I really like my, how it turned out. You guys should check out my TikTok, because I put a little, put together a cute video when it was, Thanksgiving and then it changes to Christmas. Here's Parker. He is in his Santa sleeper. It's from Old Navy. Santa's got Christmas lights in his beard. Well, some of the Santas. Really cute hanging out there. Wanted to show you guys some really cute mugs I got yesterday. Also give you ideas for Christmas. So for all of you Star Wars, the Mandalorian lovers, here is Grogu or Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call him, the child cup that I got from Five Below. So it was five dollars. And it is really well made. It's heavy. Like, it's nice quality. I like it a lot. Love how it's lime green inside. The lime green handle. And just look at him in his little pram. He's doing different things. Eating. Super cute. So that's one Christmas idea. Second Christmas idea is another uh, Star Wars. Well, this one says Star Wars mug on there. But the child, the Mandalorian mug. And he's in his pram. Super cute. It's a dark green inside. This one's from Hobby Lobby and it was $11.99 and 50% off. So that's another really great um, Christmas idea for those child lovers. Meaning those who love the child, which is this little green guy right there, Grogu, from The Mandalorian. These are great Christmas gifts. I know if my daughter had not ran away back in February and has exiled me and is still not talking to me for no good re reason other than running away from love and I forgive her for everything in between, but hey, it is what it is and she's still not speaking to me, but however, if she was, these are things that I would be purchasing 
for my daughter who is 18 years old for Christmas because I know that these two coffee mugs she would just be over the moon for. So if you have a child that's a teenager, young adult, or young child that loves the child, the Mandalorian, Star Star Wars, the Grogu, whatever they call it, check out the Christmas mugs because they're really awesome at Five Below and Hobby Lobby. Every year for the last couple years, somebody's been coming around, and I was wondering if he was going to come this year. I did, wasn't sure because, you know, Tambri has ran away, but <laughs> that little elf has appeared, and he's a new elf. His name is Mistletoe. He's not Buddy the Elf. He crossed out Buddy, as you can see on his letter. So, yeah, he showed up with some friends, and they were having a little party so it says a little late but i'm back stitches <laughs> love buddy then crossed out says mistletoe this sweetie's heading home tomorrow to carol Harmon. oh he's so cute congratulations again carol on your little man i can't wait for you to get him i was thinking we could change this little miss hadley into a christmas outfit while she's waiting for her new parents to find her and adopt her or her single parent to find her and adopt her because not all parents come in too. Sometimes it's just a parent. But yeah, so this is the Hadley kit by Lillian Brevid. I don't know how to say her name. Um, anyways, beautiful kit. She's a newborn size girl. A little bit longer because she's got a little stretched out leg. So she might fit into some three month size stuff, but she's super cute. I'm gonna take her onesie off of her. I don't have a white onesie for her, but I feel like this onesie is just gonna be too bulky under her um, sleeper. It's a vintage onesie or an older onesie, and it's just a little bit bigger fitting. But yeah, so she'll come home with um, <clears throat> this onesie and the sleeper you just saw her in. She was photographed in that. And then, like I said, of course, she'll go home with this Christmas sleeper if she leaves in time for sleeper. I mean, in time for sleeper. <laughs> in time for Christmas. If not, then we'll take it off of her and get her dressed in a New Year's outfit. And she'll go home in her New Year's outfit. And if not, then, then we'll get her undressed and dressed in her Valentine's Day outfit. And she'll go home in a Valentine's Day outfit. And if not, then, then we'll undress her and... We'll get her dressed in an Easter outfit, and hopefully she'll go home by then in her Easter dress. But yeah, you get what I'm saying. So there she is. Oh my gosh. That looks so cute on her. Wow. Red is a nice color for this baby. Oh my goodness. She's so adorable. Super cute. Oh, look at you, little miss. Aren't you just the cutest? And then here it says, cutest elf in the shop. Yes, you are. And do we have a little bow that we can put on your head? Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some yellow. It matches the yellow on the bells of the elf. How sweet. Look at her. She is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Adorable. Isn't she just the sweetest? A cute baby she is so sweet I like her a lot I was gonna keep this kit I actually painted her with all intentions to keep for myself and last moment when the Laura kit arrived I decided that I want to have a sleeping baby and an awake baby newborn in my collection so Noah's the awake Laura will be the sleeping one that won't be her name I'm gonna be changing it so yeah so that's why I part I'm parting with this one I did paint her with all intentions of her being part of my collection. So she's got some little extra boo-boos, you know, that newborns have or can get. You know how it goes with little babies. Sometimes they scratch themselves. Sometimes they wake up with a little red spot and you're like, how did, what did you do there? Oh my gosh, I just put you down in the bed. I don't know. But anyways, I like the realism. And so in my collections, I tend to add some little extra details that are not always on the babies that are available for sale. However, she does not have all the facial hair because by the time we got to the hair, I had already decided that I would be keeping Laura and I asked Jackie not to do the forehead hair because not everybody wants that in the last newborn 
that we had. She had a lot of facial hair, so we kept it off of this one. But yeah, anyway, so there she is, super sweet. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day, staying safe, staying warm. It's kind of weird weather here. Well, not weird, it's winter, but it's like gray skies, it's misty all day. It's like if you're going to rain, just rain already. But who knows, I don't think we could get lucky enough for that. All right, well, stay safe, stay positive, don't give in to your negative winches, and we will be back soon. Bye!